We knew today will be a memorable day in history. As soon as I got up in the morning, I looked out my window and I saw huge line of protests in front of an elementary school which was supposed to be a voting booth. It was really amazing. It was drizzling in the morning. Uh, it's not that cold here. This is around 5 degrees centigrade. And as you can see from the piles of the car, even before the voting started, it's still 5 minutes to start the voting. I saw a queue of couple of hundred people. And most of the workers who usually commute to a longer distance, they always prefer to vote in the morning. Indeed, I thought I would be talking to some of the people who are voting, but solidification is not, I mean, doing any kind of political activity was not allowed in this area. So I have to refrain and be satisfied only by taking the videos. But I found a significant number of Afro-American and young voters who appeared to be Obama supporters. They are on the queue. Usually Afro-American and young Americans in general do not turn out in large number. This is the sign as you can see there is a warning sign that no any kind of political campaigning should not is not allowed in that area. Uh, as I was mentioning I saw a very high deep level of emotional involvement of Afro-American in this race and my experience has been amazing. They failed Obama as if their big brother and something they have been waiting through not in their lifetime but through the whole generation. So at the end of the day I thought of going to Washington DC to see how White House and Democratic headquarters is doing. Uh, I've been thinking maybe there will be a celebration in Democratic headquarters. Uh, as you can see this is a fall time in the east coast so you know the sites are very colorful but unfortunately it was a cloudy day so you can see the tree color very clearly but anyhow today i saw i've been hearing in radio different kind of jokes and rumors and one of the foremost rumors that i heard today some of the democratic supporters have complained that they received a Republican phone call stating that McCain is a Democratic candidate therefore vote for McCain. I mean this kind of things is silly but tells you and, 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 and the way they've been fervently telling to the people in the radio it tells you that there are many Americans still today and their IQ and their level of commitment to their political process is really doubtful. You know, I was just getting into Washington DC, there have been huge traffic in both ways because typically whenever this kind of rain and drizzling you find a lot of accident. I was just showing how in United States people are proud of putting Obama or their favorite person on the car which is typical the practice. Well now I'm getting into downtown as soon as I'll cross this bridge. I'll get into in front of White House and then to the Democratic headquarters. Uh, but today I found the Washington DC was not lively at all, maybe because of excessive rain. And indeed I was a little bit disappointed because I didn't see any gathering in front of White House as you can see it. Indeed I know why the most of the political gathering happened to be in White House but I haven't seen that kind of thing. I was also wondering in the area where the DNC headquarters is located. I found only few security guards. It seems uh, that time it was 6 o'clock. It's not that crowded. And many of the busy street in Washington DC which are very famous area for hanging out even I tried to move there there was no trace of life so I w came back to another voting center and figure out that time the voting was closing in five minutes but still as you can see the voting is already done but still some people are voting which means it was really really huge turnout but at the end of the day let me finish with a very interesting shot you know this Vegas and the crossing road sitting and almost 2 degrees centigrade reminds you maybe something that America needs to change. This guy saying he has lost his house and now he's on the road doing begging. Hopefully that is something that Obama will be able to change.